the availability zones, the azure regions and the physical infrastructure we learned about is being shared among all the clients and consumers of azure. What if we need a very you know isolated vault of data centers in which no other consumer or client can use it? Do we have something like this in Azure? Let's just find out. Earlier we saw that you know there is a customer who has its own physical infrastructure and all the data that resides in on-prem. And soon they decide that they want to move to Azure Cloud. Over here, the data that they have, it's definitely has some security measures and it's not visible or accessible to other organizations, but the data shares same physical infrastructure of Azure Cloud. So there are few organizations like government organization whose data is very sensitive. Maybe election data, maybe data about citizens, maybe economical data, maybe GDP data and whatnot. These kinds of data, they require standards, compliance, certification, ISO and quality assurance. So, you know, it's expensive to have such encrypted and excess restrictive data on this the physical infrastructure Azure has for all its clients and customers. To resolve this particular problem, Azure has something known as sovereign regions. In this, what happens is that these are isolated regions specifically for sensitive data. The whole concept of significance of these region is to have sensitive data separated from normal data and have high level of security, encryption and access restriction on them. So they have separate data centers, separate express routes. That means that the fiber optics that are created to connect them to one another are also separate and they also have separate employees. So this increases the level of security and it increases also the level of trust that Azure, you know, gains from the clients who needs this specific kinds of regions. So the customers of Azure for Azure sovereign regions are US government, China government and whatnot. Now, let us, you know, add few more terms that we should understand. The first term is what exactly is Azure region? Basic geographical area with data centers hosting Azure services. Example, East, US and West Europe. Now we introduce something known as sovereign regions. These are special regions designed for specific government data and compliant needs. So these regions are known as maybe Azure Government Cloud and Azure China Cloud. The purpose is to ensure data and application follow local laws. Maybe the, you know, the data laws for China is different the data loss for Indian government is different and the data for US government is different. So Azure creates these regions and implements the laws that are needed and the regulation as per government needs. And this is for government agency that needs secure cloud. Maybe the FBI in New York, the New York Police Department, the Indian Security Services and whatnot. The data control gives the government more control on the data residency and access. So it's like sensitive data of country is managed in Azure. Compliance. Compliance means it strictly follows local rules, helping the data being protected. That means if it needs level one of security, they will ensure level one of security. If it needs level two of security, level two, three and whatnot. So in this manner, these sovereign regions are accessed. Maybe this could be a question in AZ-900 certification. And it's very straightforward for you to understand. Just remember these two rows from this table. If it's still difficult for you to understand this concept, I have an example for you. Imagine a country called Techland, which wants to keep its sensitive government data safe and secure in the cloud. 
To do this, they use sovereign region in cloud platform like Azure. Okay. In this case, the sovereign region for tech land acts like a virtual vault. Okay. It's like a virtual vault, allowing the government to store and manage its data following its own set of rules and regulations. The country can decide what kind of rules and regulation they want to put on this particular vault and Azure will do it for them. It's like a special safe that only the government has the keys to. So this particular data center won't be accessible, available to any other but the country. I hope the concept is clear for you. I find this concept to be very easy and acceptable and conveyable. It's nothing but consider it as a special world, a special offering by cloud for the government.